Another meat mission tonight. Saturday night fever. Redemption. We're splitting up and we're just trying to fill tags. Redemption. Got a lot of dogs to feed. <laughs> oh. And us too. Going to the Papa green get the loin and the steaks. We're going to get we're going to the green fields tonight. Lickety split, splitting up. Should be good. Cold. 20 degree temperature drop from yesterday to today. That's a good thing. That means the deer are gonna be moving. Yep. Alright, hopefully they got everything. I got everything. Good luck. Ladies and gentlemen, well, I'm settled in. I'm settled back into the front ghillie. I'm gonna have a little rematch, not rematch, but uh, round two of the other night. Shot a doe in here the other night. I think it was Wednesday night, I think. Um, today's Saturday, we had a, a major cold front roll and it's been 75 degrees as a high all week. Overnight we got rain and went down into the 40s and it's uh, 53 degrees right now I believe and it's dropping quick as the sun goes down so these deer should be on their feet. The high pressure system moving in. Um, it's, it's the recipe for a perfect perfect October evening. These, uh, these cold fronts in October are what we wait for and Although we don't have really a buck that we're looking to shoot or that we're excited to shoot on this property yet. Um, if the deer are moving, hopefully that means we can fill another doe tag because as we've said before, it is very, very necessary, especially on this piece of property.
Well. <clears throat> Another tank filled. Another go down, another tank filled. Out of the redneck gilly. That first shot is, I don't know how much better you want it, but she, she must have ducked it. And it went up and just broke the top of her shoulders. That was wild. I mean, wild. Holy smokes. I'm telling you what, guys. Those, those broadheads, those signature series broadheads, and those victory arrows. I'm shooting a heavier arrow. And that knocking power is insane. Oh, got another one down. Mission accomplished. What I came up here to do. My doe tags are filled. My duty is done as a land manager. And uh, hopefully my dad's having some success too. I want to look at the footage too because that was wild. believe that arrow knocked her over like that that is crazy that is crazy I mean you guys look my first shot quartering away mid body right here and that dirt nap and that victory just literally took her off her feet I mean that's crazy that is crazy that thing buried in the ground wild you want to talk about a lethal broadhead and why we put our name on it why we put our name on it that would be the reason right there is that is knocking power I don't, I'm sorry but that should not happen with an arrow but with the poundage of the bows these days, how fast they're shooting, how efficient they're shooting. That heavier arrow with the outsert on it, tipped with a dirt nap. Tag and break, signature series dirt nap. And the result is, she was standing here. I shot her from here, and she lay right there. That's crazy, I'm telling you. That is crazy. I'm blown away, even though I know that they're lethal. She's back. Back at camp. Big old slicky. What do you think? Should we just hang her tonight? Probably. Cut her now and hang her? Alright. Oh, yeah. Try on the side. Grab my gut gloves and stuff and let it rip. Got it. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll tell you what. I have a superstition. And that is you need gut gloves in your bag if you want to kill a deer. I'm telling you. I have them in my, I have them in my satchel, but now I'm carrying this. North Dakota, I told that to Dean. I took gut gloves the first night I went out. I killed one. Last week, when we were here, Dean didn't have gut gloves in his bag. The next no morning, or next night we went out, I'm like, dude, you gotta have gut gloves in your bag to kill a deer. Shot a slicky. Snagged these on the way out. Shot a slicky. Gotta have gut gloves in your bag.